Hey guys, Cool Domino here. This will be a tutorial video on how you can reverse wire a Thunderbolt siren or make it rotate in the other direction. As you can see, I'm going to run up this motor right here. See, it's spinning this way towards me. But what if you want to spin the other way? It's not as simple as swapping the capacitor leads, like putting the capacitor in backwards. Um, that doesn't work like that. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, go ahead and grab your motor. Um, take it out of your Thunderbolt, pretty much self-explanatory. Your motor may vary depending on what I have right here. So let's go ahead and go into the back and let's check it out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your power is disconnected to the siren or to the motor or wherever. It's also in the wide to have a ground wire as well and working on the motor. The tools that you're going to need is a Phillips or flatted screwdriver or a, um, and also some wire nuts. That's pretty much all you're going to need. Now, if you haven't seen my motor inspection video yet, I highly recommend watching that. I'll put it right up here in the iCard. So, let's go ahead and start tearing this motor. Or, let's go ahead and open up the back and see what's going on. So, your motor might vary a different to my, what I have right here. Um, this is this is the emergency information of the motor you want to screenshot that. I'll be zooming in. This is the information on the motor if you want to screenshot it. Sorry about the lighting though. The best lighting. There we go. So it says here for low voltage, it says you use this configuration. You connect. This is, for low voltage is 120 volts AC. For high voltage is 240. For a bigger motor like an SD10 motor, low voltage is 240 and high voltage is 480. This motor may, the motor may vary depending on what you have. Now, if you look down here, it says to reverse the motor, swap terminals T5 and T8, which I'll show you how to do. What is a particular motor? Now, go ahead, take your screwdriver right here, and simply remove these screws to take the back off. It might be pretty tight, but you can get it off. And remember, the motor spinning this way. Stop that. So go ahead and take the back cover off. It's also a good idea to have a magnet nearby as well so you can collect all the hardware. Like that and just kind of stick it somewhere on the motor. And there you go, now you have that open. So what you're looking so what you're looking at right here is all your wiring right here. So go ahead and take all these three wires out. The three wire caps right here. And if there's no ground wire right here, you would attach it in place. Now, you want to locate two wires right here. These wires are like are luckily labeled right here. If your wires are not labeled and it might be a different motor, I'll show you how you can do a different motor. So uh, you want to locate two wires. You want to locate T8, which is this one right here. Just make sure you have that memorized. And you want to also locate T5, which is also on this wire, on the two pair. So, go ahead and take the wire caps off of those two leads. Make sure there's no power. Now go ahead and take off the T8 wire. You can leave the other two together like that. And take off the T5 wire. Now just simply swap the two wires around. What that's doing is basically swapping two of the phases. And by doing that, it makes it spin the other direction. And simply put the wire caps back on once you get the wire swapped. Now, if I move this around right here, and turn on the power, now it's spinning this way right here. And that's what you want if you want to reverse wire it. Very simple process. Now once you confirm that's working, you can go ahead and cram all the wires back in. It's a tight space, so you might have to play around with it. Cram all the wires back in and then put your cover back on. And 
there you go. Now it's all put back together. And just to show you again, I'm going to take this magnet off. You can still see, it's still going the other direction. Now, you have a motor like this right here. It looks a little different. This is a Dayton motor. Um, don't worry about too much about the RPM on it right now, but um, as you can see here, the connections are a little different than what I showed you. Now, basically, how you swap the rotation on this one, you see this black wire right here, down in here. Like this black wire with this lead connector and this red wire. You simply just swap both two of those wires the other way, and it goes the other direction, which is pretty cool. It actually says on the motor as well, like it says right here, to reverse mo rotation, switch red and brown or red and black wires right there. It says it right there on the motor. So always look for that. Your motor may vary depending on what I have. So that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, um, I would recommend looking at how to inspect one of these motors right here. When, if you're like you first got a Thunderbolt and you don't know how to run it, I'll be linking it in the description below, or I'll be putting in the iCard earlier, like what I did earlier. That's about it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.